Greetings, Scrapture here and this is Raid Shadow Legends free to play challenge for 2024. The challenge is powered by Hell Hades crew. Um, I'm a member on, of Team Scratch and currently we are leading on the uh, scoreboard. And uh, we had just a monthly uh, summary and uh, let's start with that. But uh, I want to show you today my crazy plan uh, that we want to implement um, in terms of the fusion okay so that will be later but let's uh, summarize uh, the first map uh, so first map was about uh, pushing uh, dungeons to the max uh, and we are talking about those six plus uh, iron twins um, so ice golem yeah i managed to get to a uh, stage 15 uh, this is pain. Generally, I don't have any poisoners, and that that's not a good dungeon for me <laughs> at this stage. Uh, spider stage four, 14. Uh, I failed on 15, as I remember. Yeah, so pretty good, but team is not uh, ready for pushing that because my Mordecai needs to be built correctly and. Uh, for the dragon stage 18, it was pretty clear run, uh, but I'm, uh, I can farm 16 pretty well with no uh, danger of dying, so that's good. Uh, Fire Knight, yeah, uh, 15 was uh, done, but yeah, it took a lot, lot of time, but I think at 12 or 13 I can farm uh, pretty easily. But uh, the, the, the uh, magic point will be here on the stage 16 to farm uh, Fire Knight. Okay, so Sun Devil and Phantom, that's just for the points, right? So stage 4 on the Sun Devil, it was pretty uh, tricky run here because he's hitting hard. Um, and Phantom Shogun, I think I'm on the first in the co content creators. A group uh, so I reached the highest uh, stage so stage 7 so here the MVP is uh, Toragi the frog crazy how good this champ is and uh, Ratalos of course okay and Iron Twins yeah it's hard to uh, show because uh, this switching every day so I think I reached stage 4 something like that which is pretty good yeah okay so now let's uh, take a look to the champ so here's my rotalos so 34 uh, uh, thousands of power which is good so he's pretty decently built i care about uh, care about his defense because i want to him to survive a lot and he also has good hp so and because of that his at attack is uh, not not maxed out, I would say, but uh, he's got uh, crit rate and crit uh, damage, very low accuracy. I managed to get for him uh, blessing, uh, which I'm using him brimstone, but for that I need accuracy, which I currently don't have. Uh, and what happened? Uh, so because we got this free uh, gear removal, uh, I decided to rebuild uh, Bellower and Atel. So Atel is now in lifesteal, but it's, I would say secondary um, build. So this is not even upgraded fully. Uh, and Bellower still uh, Atel gear. Uh, because now I will I'm using him uh, as a mine campaign farmer and uh, in terms of my plan so I also need uh, him for that so let quickly maybe uh, show how I'm farming with Bellower which is built like that yeah some food and Bellower so this will be a pretty quick run uh, he got over 200 speed, so he will be hitting twice before enemy even try to do something, even a Lord Shazar. Yeah, so that's my farm currently. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so now let's go to my plan. So my plan regarding to the fusion looks like this. 
So uh, I already so we will be looking to the tournaments and events. What's going on? Uh, okay, so classic arena. So this is done, uh, maxed out on the right side. In terms of the placement, let me quickly check. Okay, so I'm first. So here I'm collecting some um, relentless gear, which is fine. I'll take a look quickly what's what's there. And uh, I managed also to uh, complete and maxed out uh, Fire Knight. So all rewarded claims. So, and it means that I already have 10 uh, fragments. So here I also managed to uh, finish on the first position, which again I'm collecting uh, relentless gear and even some shard for the future. Okay, what else? What's going on uh, here? So champion training, how it looks like. Uh, doesn't look great, but that's the main uh, area that my strategy is uh, <clears throat> about. Uh, so I'm looking very carefully what's going on here on the top places because I would like to snipe it uh, at the end. So I'm slowly preparing my foot uh, without crazy upgrading because I still have one day and 14 hours. And as I see, so guys, they are not pushing to even to this Lego book for now. It's got those numbers growing slowly, so I'm happy with that. So my number is also not uh, great at the, at the moment, but yeah, I don't want to show them uh, what's, go what, what's going on. Yeah, uh, Spider Tournament just started a few hours ago. Yeah, so I started uh, farming uh, spider right now and uh, yeah so this is work in progress um, so not, not much more happening here and what, what's uh, the important thing right now so dungeon divers so this one so I will be farming a spider um, to get to reach uh, this uh, point so 3350 uh, to get those five uh, <coughs> fragments and those rewards so that's my plan for today and because I still have 13 more hours so it will be pretty tight and um, artifact enhancement uh, just started but my silver situation is not great uh, yeah, I got some points but still more to go Okay, and where is my trick? So my trick is that uh, here is the summon, summon rush and I'm not doing it at all because I'm trying, I'll be trying to snipe uh, champion, uh, champion training so I can skip those five fragments uh, because this is the minimum and uh, normally if, if you're not planning to, to snipe the first position or second you will need to do this, uh, those five shards, uh, five, yeah, the fragments. But I do not have shards for that to reach this level, so that's why I cannot do that. Yeah, pretty simple. Yeah, so we'll be burning some Mr. Shards to get those gems or maybe an energy. So that that's my plan here uh, to to run uh, dungeon divers, uh, which is ongoing right now. Yeah, so plan is pretty tricky, um, I would say, but not sure if this will work. <laughs> it depends on the competitors in the champion training. Okay, and how my, my so my silver uh, because of the arch uh, artifact enhancement it also is ongoing. So I got half of a million, so not much, but. I was uh, looking at, so what do I have in my inventory, so we got a lot of different uh, artifacts, so I'm trying to check the value, so I got 16 million, over 16 million uh, of silver in those items, so that's my potential here, and also in terms of uh, accessories, so let's quickly check. 
so almost uh, 5 millions. And I will be farming uh, spider at this moment, so probably this number will go up. So, yeah, a lot of uh, work uh, <laughs> uh, to achieve that. Okay, so that's my plan, that's my current um, st um, situation in terms of shards. So, why I'm not going for the uh, summon rush? Because if I will burn everything, so I will not have anything for champion chase, uh, which is coming in a few days. So, my plan here is to save them, a lot of them, uh, if possible, and just burn them on the champion chase and try to uh, get. Uh, to, to the uh, limit of the point that I, I will get all the, the fragments. I'm not sure if that's possible, so, but I will see. So uh, let's do quick math. So um, assuming that I will be getting uh, the lowest uh, rarity, so two epics it will be uh, 250 times two 500. For the voids we for every getting 50 points, so 750. Ancient shards, yeah, it depends. So here we are um, thinking about epics. So epics is 250 points uh, per each. Uh, and I think uh, there will be two X on an ancient. Uh, so yeah, because uh, we haven't had uh, ancient two X for a long time. We had recently voids, sacreds and primal, as I remember but uh, Ancient was a long, long time ago, I think. So now I'm expecting that this will be uh, 2x on Ancients, on this, uh, this uh, not someone else, Champion Chase uh, tournament in a few days. Okay, and for what will be my next uh, source of the Epic, so here I will be fusing Relic Keeper, but I will wait with that, so I'm very close to this uh, mission. So what I need to do now is just uh, do the clan boss fight and this is easy, right? Another void shard, some energy gems, uh, yeah, more resources and so uh, two lego books are coming. Yeah, so it depends uh, what will be the <coughs> situation tomorrow um, because uh, those two books is also uh, 200 points per each for uh, champion training uh, and I already saved up a few books so that's uh, the books that I currently have and this is almost almost uh, 2000 points with those additional two books so I will have a lot of books uh, to burn and generally that's my plan for the snipe so I'll be training uh, my champs and in the last, uh, I would say, few minutes at the end, if I will be close, very close to the uh, top uh, of, of the leaderboard, so I will burn them to just go on the first position. Uh, I hope n nobody here is missing that, <laughs> uh, so that, because it will be tricky. Um, yeah, very risky plan, but it is how it is. And now, so maybe the, the last thing for today, it will be so dungeon, so what I'm currently doing, I'm running stage 10 uh, with a team like that, so Ratalos with uh, attack increase and uh, Belover uh, here and three foot champions, so that's what I'm currently uh, doing, so leveling up champions, doing champion training, right? Uh, doing dungeon divers also and uh, spider tournaments so triple dipping yeah, so trying to be as much eff uh, effective as possible having the limited resources yeah so if you think this will work or not or you see any gaps please let me know in the comments and yeah if you like it please consider hitting the like and subscribe and see you in the next one cheers